Hello from Austin. We're here in Texas and in a few minutes, we'll be bringing you the MotoGP race. The sky has been cloudy for a few hours now, but having checked the forecast, Race Direction have decided to declare a dry race. So as you can see, it's still quite hot here with a 41 degree track temp. However, there is quite a lot of cloud cover, which should help some of the engine performance out and hopefully not overheat these tires too much. Now in qualifying, we did manage to grab pole. It's my first pole of the season here in the MotoGP category. Although race pace wise, just like in Moto2, I'm not too sure how we're going to go. We were a little bit off the pace in the morning warm up with the sort of race set up on. So hopefully we can just get our head down and get a decent start and get away. Now once again, before we get into today's race, I just want to point out something for those of you that may be tuning in to my channel for the first time. I do like to keep my sim racing games as realistic as possible. So here on MotoGP 17, we are playing on the PC, which means we have the benefits of downloading third-party modifications to the game, of which we've got a full 2018 mod. So all the new riders, all the new liveries and logos are up to date with 2018 spec. The only thing we don't quite have as accurate as probably real life is the performance of the riders. So you may see a couple of guys up the front here in today's race that you probably wouldn't see in real life. But for the most part, it looks and feels like the 2018 season. So without any further ado, we'll jump straight into today's race. I'm just going to apply the race setup. Uh, yeah, we want that one. Now I have decided to go with the medium option rear. I did go with the hard option rear in the Moto2 category, but I've instead of choosing the like harder tire and just blasting it for you know 11 odd laps, I'm going to I've changed my driving style a little bit or riding style I should say so I could switch back and forth from bikes to cars so often I can't keep up <laughs> with all the right terminology. But yeah, I've changed it. I've changed my riding style a little bit throughout the weekend, so we hopefully should have more rear tire as the race goes on I'm hoping plus the temperature is a little bit cooler which helps us out all right here we go starting on the pole alongside our teammate Johan Zarco in the other Tech 3 Monster Energy Yamaha bike so hopefully we'll be kind to each other in turn one we got the man of the West Marquez who has dominated this Grand Prix in previous years so it's all going to be down to whether we can beat him today so as you can see, we've got all the 2018 riders. It's a full field of 25 with Simeon rounding up the back of After the grid. After a long weekend of preparation, the race is about to start. You could cut the tension with a knife. It's all that matters now is who gets across that line first. Yeah, no, this race is going to be interesting to say the least. Turn one here is a nightmare, so we just got to get around that one. All right, here we go. Round three, MotoGP 2018. And we're off. Come on. Uh, front wheel down. We can hold it around the outside. Wow, no grip in turn one. Oh my lord, Jesus Christ, what the fuck? No idea what just happened, but we're alive. <laughs> Rossi, wow. Is that a good start? Come on, turn. No grip on this thing at all. Oh, who's that? Man, these guys sure do like to make their dive bombs happen today. Far out. That is way too deep. Come on, Joseph. God, this track has no grip at all. What's going on?
took the world champion out. Come on, turn. Oh, this thing just does not want to steer. Oh, I suppose I deserve that one. I can't believe it, there's just no grip on this track at all. I don't know why it's so different to practice and qualify. I mean, I know it's colder, but I can, can't get... Oh my god, get it stopped, Joseph. Fucking hell. It's going to take me a while to get the right braking markers. There's so many heavy braking zones around this track. Anyway, Rossi's up to the lead. I think that's Petrucci in second. Got Marquez behind us. Oh God, that corner's so sketchy. Gosh, even the AI are missing the apex by about half a mile. Come on. Oh my god, what the hell? Even then I was like good 50 meters further back than what I was breaking in practice and qualifying. It's almost like the track's damp or some shit. Tough conditions here in Austin. Not easy. Oh, big move to the lead. I nailed that section. Oh, no. <laughs> Rossi with a big move. Got a lot of race for the lead. It's early laps though, we don't want to crash now. Or risk crashing now, I should say. I <laughs> don't want to put the curse on me too, too early. Hold uh, down. So hard that corner. This track is definitely one of the hardest on the calendar. It's weird, there's like no grip going into the corner, then coming off and wheels spinning, then popping the wheel up. I mean, far out. Thank God I. And I went for a pretty conservative, stable setup, so. Thank God I didn't go for a risky, sort of. more loose setup, or else it really would be done. leaders, we've got pace, I just don't know how we're going to get past them and get away when they keep fighting back every time we launch a move. Right, lap four, this is a ten lap race, so half of what it is in real life. Oh, Jesus Christ, we've got a shunt from behind that launched us into Rossi. <laughs> Oh, big move. We actually crashed into Valentino last week, so hopefully we don't do the same thing again. But 
I know. Ah, oh my god. Turned in slightly early there. And then almost cleaned up the Ducati. Struggling to get my braking markers right now. This track is just so different to what I experienced in practice and qualifying. Oh god, never being attacked by one of the other Ducatis. I don't quite see who that is. I think that's. That Dobby? Still trying to get used to everyone's colours and whatnot for this year. <laughs> Changes so fast, especially when you follow like 50 million different motorsport categories. Yeah, that is a bit serious. Yeah. Alright, well, Petrucci's got to the lead now. Ah, my god. So hard to get their turn in right on this game, especially. I mean, riding a bike with a controller is not easy. Let's see if we can now drag the Ducati down. No, he's bubbled. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Ah, oh my God. Come on, Joseph. Right, nothing happened. Nobody saw that. Oh my God. Oh my God. How the hell am I still on this bike? They're going to have no tyre left at the end of this race. I can already feel them starting to go away. Oh my god, Joseph, come on. For once in your life. God, there was no one behind him. Oh my god. Stop making so many damn mistakes. with me, mate. Turn one there. We had an up and down between second and third trying to get the thing to turn. Oh my god. Almost killed Rossi. Oh my god, almost killed him again. God, I gotta stop doing that. I just knew I wasn't gonna make the next head. The problem is, I would try and, like, you know, get back on the track and, you know, without cutting the track, but I'm so worried that I'm gonna cut off Davizioso behind us. Because the AI don't really make any sort of room for other <laughs> for the user rider they just sort of ride as if you're not there to be honest I should have just gone with the hard tire front and rear we're gonna be in big trouble here towards the end of this race I can just feel it already I had no idea this track was gonna be this different
how the Ducatis are faster in here. I knew they would be with the straights, but I didn't think they'd be this quick. Oh my lord, fucking hell. Come on, I hate it when I do that. We got the pace, just gotta. Oh wow! The Vizioso's just crashed behind us. That helps relieve some of the pressure. I don't know if that was our fault at all. I didn't feel any contact. He just went down by himself. Come on, here we go. If we just make quick work of Rossi, then we should be able to tag onto the back of Petrucci and hopefully grab our first win of the year. Come on. Oh my god, man, I'm just running out of brakes. Something chronic. See how it broke at the same time, but then the front tyre just not gripping at all. They were riding on ice here, even the AI is all over the shot. Mark is a second behind, so can't let off the pedal yet. so hard that corner, you cannot see the apex at all. Oh, a big mistake from Rossi, come on. God, you'd think this track would be wet. Ah, stay on the track. So close, just got to put it together, come on. I need these last two laps to be perfect if I want to win this thing. Oh shit. so much harder than it looks. <laughs> but he's gone way down. Come on, this has been a good start to that. Let's go. Come on, 
draft. the rear tire on right now trying to get every last bit of inch of rubber off of it well here we go Let's see if we can get a good run onto the straight oh he's run it wide come on Well, here we go, last lap, battle for the lead. Come on. Oh, that's very deep, that's very deep, that's very deep, that's very deep, that's very deep. Oh, I pulled it up. Come on. Yes. He's gone down. Come on. Oh, big move. I can hear him in the background. He's going to throw one up the inside. I can feel it. Side. Fuck, he's right there. <laughs> ah, Ducati Power versus Yamaha. We are gonna lose. <laughs> Here he comes. Go away. Big move. Oh, he's got the lead back. Come on. <laughs> oh no! You prick! Oh, you... Urgh. Wow. Wow, oh wow. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose third. Oh my god, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe that just happened. I cannot believe that just happened. We had the win in the palm of our hands. Oh, why? Oh, I call bullshit. Where's the protest? Come on. <laughs> Quick, throw the protest out. That was bullshit. <laughs> And we went and gave away third when we literally had it in the bag. I just, I was so like shocked and done at that point. I wasn't even concentrating correctly. Wow. What an anti-climax that was. <laughs> Alright, let's go back and have a look at the race, shall we? But, oh my god, it was a fun last lap, but... Wow, I know who I'm aiming for the next race. I can tell you that much. <laughs> we actually got a pretty good start in the end. I just tried to hold around the outside, but... Dive bomb from left. Oh, there it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What the hell just happened? It all happened so fast, I genuinely had no idea what went on, so I just sort of <laughs> forget or forgot whatever happened and continued on, but it was a very elbows out race to say the least. Alright, so that was the uh, first corner drama. It was pretty much... Oh god, yeah, we had a little bit of a bump and grind with the Suzuki there. But yeah, no, we'll go and uh, we'll go and have a look and see what actually happened on that last lap, because that was wild. Alrighty, so here we are coming to the last lap. We managed to get a decent run onto the straight, which got us up the inside. 
probably slightly braked a little bit too late here. Managed to switch back underneath me, but ran it off the edge of the curb. But thankfully we've had serious pace going into turn two all day, so we can hold it there. Now I just need to put my foot down and get away, but I knew he was going to come back at me. had a look there and then he I think he had a look here. I oh, know it must have been next corner. Oh, man that is such a cool shot. And no grip on the tire. I wasn't gonna bother trying to keep it on the track there. Here I just turned in too early trying to cover off the line and then I knew we were in trouble here because that Ducati power is gonna trump us on the satellite Yamaha every day of the week. So he went up the inside, I knew he was going to dive it up there, so I tried to get the exit. And then he fed it to us there, so I s sort of switched back on him and tried to get the inside and... Oh wow, it was my fault, okay, that... <laughs> it was my fault, I wasn't sure if it was my fault or not, but from that view it does look like I sort of... Yeah, I was sort of on the inside and it looked like... He had already committed his line, and I just, wow, huge high side. <laughs> How's that for a wreck? We'll try and find another view. All right, so here it is from the rearwards view. See, at this point, I thought I was in, I thought I had the line. I thought I was in the lead, and then, see, from that view, it actually looks like his fault. I mean, I know, I, I, speaking like it's a real life rider, it's not really. Because the line, the line basically, I was on the inside of the line at this point, and he's on the ripple strip. So, I mean, you can't really deal with an AI like he's a real world driver, but a real world rider, I should say. But from that view, it looks like I had the inside line, and he's just come smack bang across us. See, in real life, I think he would have been fed off the wheel there, and I would have continued to go, but. Unfortunately, it just sat our whole bike down on the side, and, well, she was gone from there on. How's that for a uh, finish? But, wow, what a dramatic end to the third round of the year on this sort of series that I got going on. Wow. Cannot believe it. I think from the first view it looks like my fault, and from that view it looks like his fault, so we'll just call it 50-50, but anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's race, I know it didn't quite end how we were planning, and well, I, I literally had a win, the first win of the season in the palm of my hand, and then I also had the podium there at the end of that I gave up as well, so yeah, not how we wanted to end today here in the Circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas, but it was a fun race, I hope you guys enjoyed it, it was pretty crazy there on that last lap i knew it was going to be drama field that was for sure but yeah looking forward to round four thanks guys for tuning in and until next time i'll catch you guys later